That is full show. That's how I feel. I did not sleep well last night. Me neither. All right, Megan, can you see my home screen on uh, Canvas? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so where you need to go today is modules. So I'm taking you right over there. I need my other friends quiet so I can get us there. What is it? Can I get Megan there real quick? Is it something you need to do before I get Megan to where she needs to be? Okay. So Megan, here is just a placeholder. That's why I put these, it's called an assignment, just a placeholder. These are the pages for your test, okay? Here, page six is the one that is the conceptual checkpoint. Remember, I told you yesterday in the video, this was gonna be your bonus page, okay? So all my students are doing today is taking this test. And then I have a science page front and back that it's learning and it's reinforcing something that we've just learned, but it's also for enjoyment. So I will put that on Dojo. Um, if your parent can print it out for you, it'll be easier for you to see that way because it would take me a little while to get it posted on campus here from school, okay? It's front and back. And it's just for some points to help out students' grades because a lot of people need help with their science grade right now. And it's to do after you finish your test and get your test done first, okay? We all good? Megan? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right. My, my mom's gonna print. Okay. Um, I'll get the picture of the extra science pages done as soon as I get my physical students in class going on their test, okay? So I'm going to turn to them and get them started now, okay? Okay, what was your question or comment, uh, Bryson? I'll give it to, uh, I'll give it to Okay, if you were needed not here today, and I don't know if she's going to be here tomorrow. She said she's probably not. Right. All right, so you're my one group I didn't get to talk to about this yesterday. Okay. And I've told you guys this before. Michaela, I need you paying attention. You are so bright, and I don't want you wasting your potential. And that's why I keep having to move you around my classroom to try to, to make it where you pay the best attention because you are so bright. And I don't want that wasted. Okay. You're extremely bright. You're one of my quiet leaders. All right. Which is what I used to be. I'm not so quiet now. I'm sure y'all heard me going down the hallway yesterday at the end of the second block, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Warning to y'all, don't ever swing at another kid. <clears throat> if loud mouth hears you, sees you, I will come unglued. Got it? Ooh, loud mouth. Hi, Hi, nice Hi. to meet ya. I can't get loud when necessary, okay. So um, I might have hinted at this before, but I don't know that I've told you this in relation to Ms. Ramita's. I've had my illness for eight to nine years with the migraines and having migraines every day is not fun, okay? Harder than me going through it though is what it's put my husband through because he and I have been together for, this year makes 32 years. He's my best friend. He's the person I lean on. He's the one that supports me. Aaliyah, I hope you can stay awake and stay awake, okay? Because there is a point to this and it relates to another one of your teachers, okay? We talked about yesterday. Okay. Ms. Ramitas, did I relate it to Ms. Ramitas? That she's going through a lot and to be on your best behavior when you get to her? Okay, we are already done with that one. That's why she's out for the next couple of days, okay? Her son goes through major medical stuff every spring is when it's worse and he's indeed real sick again and now our husband has his new diagnosis that's terrible 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 and so it's a lot for Miss Ramita's to handle and even though it's really hard for her husband it's harder for Miss Ramita's just like it's hard for me to have the 
multiple diagnoses I have. It's harder for my husband. Okay. Mr. Amitas is the one that has to cook at her house, do all the laundry, do all the household stuff after teaching here all day. That's why she scrambles to leave when school's over. I don't do most of the cooking at home. I don't do the laundry. When I leave here, I am physically exhausted. I didn't know why it was so bad in the past two months. That's why I went to this new doctor. It has to do with this newest illness they just diagnosed me with. My husband takes care of all that. Do you know how physically hard that is when he already works 60 to 80 hours a week? And I mean, he's roofing houses. He's um, fitting the insides of houses for his work. His work is manual labor. And yes, he has a college degree. Um, he's very well educated too. He does physical work and then comes home. And as I said to my other classes, I think I told y'all, harder than physical pain is emotional pain. So when you're worrying about something, that's why we always tell you guys, don't worry about it. Worrying about something is harder than physically hurting. Boys especially know that. If you ever get into a scuffle, a physical fight with somebody, that's going to hurt less than worrying about getting in one. Worrying is going to be harder on you. Emotional is going to be a lot tougher. Physical stuff is less. Okay? That's why it's harder on the people thinking and worrying about you. Your parents, they worry about you. Or your grandparents, whomever you go home to. I went home to my grandparents. Okay? And my grandfather, when I was growing up, he had major heart issues. And on top of that, He's constantly worrying about the little red head with the stubborn streak running through how big as day. Might have been quiet, but as stubborn as could be. Okay? On top of him having health issues, he was always worried about me. And my brother who likes getting fights. <laughs> so parents worry about their kids. What they do? It's kind of their job. And when I say parents, I mean the people raising the kids. Sometimes it's a friend of the family, sometimes it's an aunt, sometimes it's a guardian, it's a grandparent. It's not always mom and dad. Okay? Just understand that. Right? That's why I tell people to be kinder than you have to. You don't know what another person's going through. Right? All right. Let's get this. Okay. Who watched the video last night? Just one person. Two. Oof. We didn't get to go over all the tough questions. Not it. Okay, remember me telling you about the bad copier. Now you see what I mean by the bad copier. Compared to what my copier always looks like, this is me printing on my printer copier. A little different, right? Oh. Because the first printer is messed up. That's the one they put Bernie beside in the copy room. And they took a picture and posted on Facebook. And they're like, we were teaching the best schools and all us teaching you're so sarcastic here. <laughs> it's not just me. Because I didn't move Bernie. I had to touch Bernie. Bernie always freaks me out. I think it's an actual person sitting there. <laughs> and apparently a bunch of teachers posted on Facebook. I think that's a real teacher every time I walk in. Yeah, me too. Me too. I know this is hard to read. That's why I'm going to go through every question before you take it. Okay. And this page. Remember, I had to go through three copiers to get this thing done. It didn't even copy the stuff. So I'm going to show you, and I'm going to keep on the cop on the whiteboard what it's supposed to look like. Okay. What I'm going to do is actually touch science module assessment page five, so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Okay. So the only page you didn't copy the one. Science assessment page five, um, and it's a really easy one to do. I literally has a box for you to draw your marbles in if you want to. And I don't mean the marbles rolling around your head, but you know, Aww. the actual marbles and lines. Okay? So, first name, first name, last name, and date. You can use your notebook. Remember your test, you can use your notebook. That's the information you've accumulated. You can use your notebook. How long should this take? Take the class time. I have 
another science page called an infographic. It has not a picture as in a photo, but it has graphics on it. It has graphics on it and captions. You know what captions are? Little word blips that go with graphics or pictures. Captions. And then it has some questions on the back. It's about what you're testing on, renewable energy. It's not really hard and it's meant to pull up, sit up, Hunter. It's meant to pull up your science grade. Okay. So this is what you do after you finish your science test. I'll have it back there at my desk. So when you finish your test, you bring it to me. Okay. basketball game for the girls then they moved them somewhere else in the gym during the basketball game they have a few different places in the coffee room that then you open it and start moving them down the halls it looks like you're sitting on a stool they, and they have them taped to a stool so they're moving them all around the school and it's a cardboard cut out here Oh, every time we walk in the coffee room, they think it's a real person sitting there. We already when I saw on Facebook, I thought it was a real person. Okay, so I'm going to go through the questions with you because the copier, it leaves a lot to be desired. All right, it's not exactly like my copier. But then again, I didn't have to pay 50 bucks for you for my copier. A whole bunch of pages. Okay. If you're wearing white or khaki, I would be careful not to smear this on your legs because it might just get on your clothes. What is it? All right. Number one says, imagine that you're in the kitchen helping to cook dinner and listening to music. Draw a model to show the indicators of energy that you would observe. Be sure to label your model, including the indicators of energy. There's supposed to be a box there. Draw your box. <laughs> yes. And remember, you're drawing your kitchen. You have to draw you in the kitchen. And you have to draw something that makes music. Now, let me point something out that Third Block said. And it's reality of me when I'm in the kitchen, too. If I want to listen to music, I'm not going to go find a radio. I'm going to turn my iTunes on my phone. So if you want to draw your phone in the kitchen, that's fine. But you have to draw something that indicates that sound is coming out of it. And then you're going to have to tell me what kind of energy is powering your phone. Think about it. Don't look at somebody else's paper. I see your own paper. Your phone, sometimes I plug mine into the wall to get us energy because it tends by the end of the day after running Class Dojo. Class Dojo is an energy drain. Um, it runs low on battery, so I have to plug it in. So you could have it plugged into the wall, or I just mentioned the other source that your phone runs on most of the time, right? Yeah. Think about how a battery works. What kind of energy does a battery have? If that's what you're using, okay? Number two, you can actually read. It's so not so bad. Class is a one day. Hmm? Hmm? It's like two art classes in one day. Yeah. When you get to number two, that A, B, and C, you know it should have had lines for you to write on. You can draw your own lines. I'm sorry that uh, the copier didn't recognize the lines and put them on there. 
on my master copy it did, but on all the subsequent copies, it was too busy making its own rainbow gray lines. Same thing for four. It had lines on the original, um, but when it copied it, there's no lines in there. Not now. I'm going to draw up, pull up page five so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Oh. Wow, even on here, it's not coming up real dark. Fantastic. That did not help very much. Uh. Don't worry about it. Do your work. Stop talking. Obviously, draw your own lines and ask for each one of these questions. We probably need more than three lines, but I would run out of space for my box. And I didn't accidentally leave my poster up here. The poster is there for you to use too.
remember everything you plug in when you're drawing needs to have an electrical cord going to it and a plug and it has to all be labeled.
be talking. Okay, Megan, sorry to disturb you while you're testing, but I have the page that I had mentioned, the extra science assignment. It is now posted in Canvas in modules. Okay, so I have Thursday science module two assessment, and then underneath that is Thursday, February 4th, science renewable energy worksheet front and back. And it's due tomorrow. Okay. Okay. You guys are my class people. God, you know there's no way you're done.
that's my friend. You're going to have to label the energy the sun is giving solar power. And you're going to have to label the energy that's going from the solar panel to the laptop. And you're going to have to label with words and everything going on.
Guys, considering your bonus question is your conceptual checkpoint you took yesterday, and your conceptual checkpoint is in your notebook and it's graded, I would really suggest you turn to page 47 and you look in your notebook. If you didn't make a perfect score, I would make corrections as your teacher pointed out. You've been out for a couple of days and you're kind of out of luck. Especially if you didn't check Canvas like you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. What's that? Mm -hmm. Is there a map? No. Yeah, there's math you're supposed to do. We did it together yesterday in class. 
And we just have to try to figure out patterns. And one of the patterns is finding out the averages, figure out which student got the ball there quicker, kind of like which student got to the desk quicker. We have a common ball. This one may have broken the ball. I'll put it aside. I don't like to start doing it there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The way I showed you how to do the math on that number two yesterday to make it where it's not so hard. Finish Kayla. Are you finished? Bring your test.
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's put that right here on the other blue screen. Okay. So make sure your name's on it. What is it? Yeah. I need the talking stops. Test goes there. Test goes there. And then you get your paper from the blue stool.
Okay, students, don't forget to take your test, submit your test to me. It's due by the end of the day. And the extra science page, the one that says renewable energy, it is due by tomorrow. Okay. Bye.